Freddy's. Jump scares. <laughs> <laughs> The thrift store looking for toys galore. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf, and I brought the girls to their favorite thrift store of all time. When you ladies want to tell them where we're at, happy, happy, happy. Sam. Full of crap, Sam. <laughs> We're at Craptastic <laughs> Sam. That was a long way to introduce Craptastic. Uh, it's the crappiest. It's the crappiest. You know, it deserves a long title like that, right? Mm -hmm. So, but uh, yeah, so we're here. We're actually on our way to our chiropractic appointment. So I'm. That's gonna... the only reason we're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't come this way. <laughs> Well, I do, they don't, <laughs> unless we're going to our chiropractor appointment, which I might do a little video footage of that for you guys to see. It's been a long time, so. But uh, hey, check out this shirt that Nicole, hey, some of our fans, some of our subscribers love FNAF. Like one of our subscribers, I can't remember which one, which guy it was, so I apologize. But he was like, how do you know about FNAF? That's normally like a kid thing. Like adults don't know about FNAF. And I was like, I mean, well, our yeah, Caroline our was a, as a huge FNAF fan. <laughs> yeah. When did you first start watching FNAF or um, playing the game? Um, I watched someone play FNAF in like 2015. Yeah, like 2015. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we've been FNAF fans for a long time. She even has a t shirt. Yeah, she has a night. t shirt. Yeah, it says Ladies' Night. It's yeah, got, it was from what, your ninth birthday? We've made some it's got Chico Carl on it. Cupcakes, you know, for her birthday. Do you remember that? Oh, yes. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Carl Cupcakes. Carl Cupcakes. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are all of those, like, what the FNAF hell are you <laughs> talking about? So you'll have to go look at Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> So anyway, I'm gonna head into Craftastic Sam's. We gotta be at our appointment in about 40 minutes. So I got a little bit of time. Yeah, to... time's ticking. You better get it. Yeah, fingers crossed. It. As always, thrift gods be good to me today. Hey, boy, lickety split. Hurry up. <laughs> She's always rushing me. She's always rushing. Lickety split, she says. All right, well, let's head in here and uh, maybe we'll, oh, you know what? I don't have my wallet. I don't have my wallet. All right, so watch this. She's gonna be like, <sighs> again. Hey, I don't have my wallet. Can you uh, hand me my wallet? Please. No! <laughs> <laughs> All right, got my wallet. Let's head in here and see what they got. All right, let's see what they got in this glass case. Looks like they have some sort of Barbie doll, some Legos, anything up here. There's that Jurassic World figure we saw last time. All right, let's go check the check the pegs. All right, let's see what we got. And anything in here doesn't look like it. So it's a little late in the day, so this stuff might be picked over. It's like almost 2.30. Yeah, and you can see a lot of the bags are missing. So, but who knows, maybe we'll get lucky and find some sort of cool action figure. Well, looks like we got a box of Matchbox cars here, some sort of dinosaur. Oh, there's an Imaginext Stormtrooper in there. But that looks like, oh, and there's Raven from, uh, Teen Titans. And then what do we got here? A giraffe and a brontosaurus. Looks like we got a SpongeBob SquarePants in there. And here's a bag with some My Little Ponies in it. They look older. Maybe not vintage per se, or maybe these are like knockoffs. Yeah, I think these are knockoffs. All right, well, let's see if we can find any goodies on the shelf over here. Not seeing anything at first. Who's this guy? The Vegas girl, all right. 
Okay, we got a 12 inch Stormtrooper. And I think this is some sort of Marvel Avengers figure. I think this is that guy from Ice Age, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and here's another Stormtrooper. This one doesn't have a pad though. See how he's got a shoulder pad? This one does not. And we got some sort of transformer, like a bumblebee here. This thing looks kind of busted up though. And what is this? Oh, that looks like it would have been cool if it had the canopy for it. I don't know what that is specifically, but it's kind of a neat looking vehicle. So I just did a reverse image search on Google, and this is the first time I've actually had one of these work. <laughs> Normally they don't work, but uh, it is a Guardians of the Galaxy Marvel, Guardians of the Galaxy vehicle. It's missing a lot of pieces, but that's what this is. Ah, okay, we've got our Hulk Avengers here. Got this guy already, so I don't need him. Hey, so check this out. This thing wasn't as busted up as I thought it was. I was actually able to put it together and it's got all the parts to it. It's got everything, nothing's broken on it. So I think I might get this. I'm gonna look it up on eBay because this thing is heavy, man. This thing weighs a lot. This thing might actually be worth some money. So, all right, I'll be back with you to let you know what I find out. All right, so I couldn't find this being sold on eBay anywhere, but as much as it hurts me to do this, I'm gonna put it back. So, I don't know. There's just uh, something about it that makes me think that I don't really need it, you know? It's just an impulse buy. Fighting my addiction here again, you know? So, all right, well, Nicole will be happy. So let's head out to the car, fill her in that I passed on something, and then let's head off to our chiropractic appointment. Well, Nothing? I got nothing. <laughs> in there. Oh, you, I, oh I, you saw something? I did see something. I saw a Bumblebee Transformer. He was big. He was probably about 13 inches and he was real heavy. Mm. And he transformed. He was all there. First I thought he was. He looked all busted up. I didn't think he was going to be complete. Mm. But I passed on it. Oh, he was complete and everything? Yeah, he was complete and everything. I wanted like seven bucks for him, but I passed on it. And I said to myself, you know, it's an impulse buy. I don't think I need this. You know, so. <laughs> I knew you'd be happy. I told them you'd be happy. <laughs> wow, is that all it takes to get a little nookie? <laughs> passing on, just passing on thrift shit. So, all right, so we're gonna head off to our chiropractic appointment and uh, we'll show you guys what some amazing adjustments look like. All right, my friends, we are here. <laughs> I know you were gonna, what are you gonna tell me? Make sure you let Dr. Bo know you're gonna film. Don't you worry about Dr. Bo. I got him, I got him, I got him under control. Don't you worry about Dr. Bo. There you go. <laughs> it's being respectful. Damn, hey, it's free publicity for his office. He cool? All right.
today because I am a perfect patient. That's what Dr. Bo just said. He said, you're a perfect patient. <laughs> Better than you two. You're such a good boy. <laughs> All right. So we got our power turned on and that means we can do some more toy hunting. I feel amazing. That was so good. I know. I needed that. We did need that. How was your adjust like your adjustment good? Yeah, mine was good too. So, but hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as we're enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash the subscribe button, and turn on notifications so you're always up to date and first to be notified of the next episode. Also, like and comment on this video. Let me know: Have you ever been to a chiropractor? If so, what was your experience? We've been getting adjusted by Dr. Bo as a family, I think since like 2000, yeah, like nine or something since 2009. So like 13 years or something or 12 years. So we get adjusted all the time. We love it. We do it to, to stay well and keep our bodies functioning. But anyway, let me know if you've ever been to a chiropractor. Also give me a follow on Instagram and tickety talk at 80s toys rock. And rock is spelled R-O-C. In the meantime, we'll catch you on the flip side.